hello guys mikjub here welcome back to our sword art aligned fact video now in this video i will be crafting my very very first eye shield or farmer shield which you can see here i've been gathering a lot of materials i have 600 sacred underworld water and also two stones now you might have seen me making underground videos especially the one one versus the cobalt uh, underground labyrinth and also made two posts where i was really really lucky to get two stone drop two stone drop i was real happy once i got both of the stone because it saves a lot of farming if you do get one stone that saves you a lot of farming to gather materials especially if you're farming for the mobs because mobs they never never ever drop the sacred on the world of water it's so hard to get the common drop like it's not even common it is the 200 that you require to craft of stones and also you need 200 to craft the shield so you need a lot of them but they never drops from the mobs you can easily farm for the boss drops and also for other stuff but when it comes to sacred underworld water that never drops from the mobs so it took a while to get that now you might be wondering why I have 600 sacred underworld water when I only need 200 and I'll have 2 stones. That is because I am going to make it to a 4 star as well. So first gonna craft my very first shield 3 star then I'm gonna upgrade it to 4 star. So I'm pretty much done with that. I will have my first shield 3 star and then my first 4 star. So that's gonna be in one video, that's why it has been taking a while and why I never have recorded my first crafting because I was still farming, especially for the second underworld water like oh my god please increase that, oh my god. I have been farming without bows and I do really recommend if you want to spend money in Sword Line, I will only recommend spending the bows because I think bows is the only thing that is worth. For your money when it comes to grinding that's all don't spend money on our current gems i don't think it's worth it only on boost boost if you want to grind if you want to progress your characters that is definitely worth the money so took a while and i finally done it today as of today i'm finally done it i will craft my very first is three star and then make it to four star and then I have to go back to underground to farm on the underground B4 because I want to make it 5 star. Now I can stop there of course because we might get a new floor but we never know who when that's gonna be right? Farming the underground right now I still is kind of worth it. You just make it 3 star that's all you don't need to make it 4 star but if you somehow lucky and still have some time still farming for the skill releaser for your skills then yeah sure go ahead for for a four star but three star is still fine we never know when the next level for underground gonna be released and we might don't know how hard the boss that gonna be maybe we won't farm that maybe we're waiting for the next boss who knows so farming for the format is still worth it but three star versus the floor 61 shield i'm pretty sure they are still the same so yeah you can still use the floor 61 if you want to the only difference between the Fermat and the Centaurus uh, Floor 61 shield is that the bonus. When you craft, you have a minimum bonus for shield on the floor shield, but when you craft Fermat, it will give you a really high bonus. Uh, but it's also RNG, you can get a low roll or a max roll. So, crafting Fermat will give you three different bonus it can be attack, HP, or defense. And you can get triple attack, triple defense, triple HP, or randomize one of them. And then for attack, you can get between 15 to 20 attack. For defense, you can get between 30 to 40 defense. HP, I believe you can get between 1500 to 2000. So if you do get the high rolls, which is attack 20, defense 40, and HP 2000 you have good so i am praying that i do get high roll otherwise i will use it as the bonus i get that's all i'm not gonna recraft because it takes a while especially if you're free to play but yeah we'll see all right let's stop stalling and let's craft my very first format please be something good 
double HP, one attack bonus. The HP is low roll, attack and middle HP is mid rolls. Okay, I can take that, that's fine. Though I do wish I got triple attack, that would be really nice. But that's fine, that's fine. Now we're gonna make the shield 4 star. So we're gonna craft our 2 stones here that I've been farming. 2 stone, there we go. Nice. Now we will enhance it, of course. Uh, there we go. Enhance it to the max. And there we go. Level 60. Really good stats there. And now the only thing left is to do is to transform it to 4 star. And it requires 2 stones and a core metal plus 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 that I've been saving for. There we go, now it's a 4 star shield and now we're gonna level up to level 80 and we are pretty much done. There we go. Now let's have a look. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, okay. Let's see if we can make it looks better. Uh, okay, I can't zoom in. That is the issue here. It would be nice to be able to zoom in, but yeah, not bad. Looks real nice, really, really shiny. I probably should have showcased the 3-star first, then 4-star. But hey, I made it 4-star, who cares? You've probably seen it somewhere on YouTube. Someone have probably made it. So, not bad. This is my very first upgrade shield for a really long time. I've been using the Pro 61 shield for the longest time. I mean, there's nothing different, you can still use it, you can still use it for end game. nothing different. This is something I've been grinding for because I really want to, but if you don't want to grind that much, the floor 61 shield is still fine, it's still good to use, yeah. So I'm pretty much done with shield crafting, I think, unless I want to go for the 5 star, which is we have to fight the Manticore on B4 level. Yeah, I mean, that one is so annoying, I would say, and there aren't that many in actually farming. I mean, I've seen some people already have 5 star fermats, which is crazy, they've been really, really lucky with the drops, or have been farming a lot, one of those. And yeah, so when I see there is a B4 level farming, if someone is gonna host it, I will do that early join, and then hopefully I do get the stones. I only need what? two stones to craft it to five star so hopefully i'm really lucky so let's see actually let's how do i okay so to transform my firma to five star i will need two stones from the manticore on b4 levels yeah this one cannibal protection stone two of them now how is my mat from there we can have a look since I have zero stones of that, so I have to, might be I have to craft, and yeah. So I need around 300 of the protection stone piece and 300 lost flower. Gonna take a while to farm that, but hopefully there are someone gonna host that. Please, someone host it so I can join and then get the drops. Maybe maybe I get a stone. Hopefully. So. That was the Fermat Shield, my crafting, my very first Fermat Shield. I'm, I'm really happy with it. Like, look at it. Like, oh my god, it looks so cool with it. I imagine if they release an avatar for it. That would be actually really nice if they release an avatar version of it. Maybe next goal is try to make a 5 star or wait for the next uh, Shield series. But we'll see. That's for me. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care now and bye bye.